Hi guys and welcome back to this channel. In this video we see how to build this 3 rad special silent segment display. We will discover the peculiarity in a moment. They are silent segment display made with the WS2812B NeoPixel LED and can be controlled by a microcontroller such as an Arduino or an ESP only via three wires. The special thing about this display is that you can add as many as you want by simply placing them side by side and thanks to a magnet and a pogo connector they immediately work. And before starting with the video, if you have not yet subscribed, I invite you to do it right now. Also because in the next video, we will talk about this. A cube made by LED matrix without external wires. So, subscribe and hit the bell, so you will receive a notification when the next video comes out. So let's activate fight mode and let's go! In the previous video we create a 7 segment display with NeoPixel LEDs and the case with a 3D printer. We create the connection by soldering the end of the LED strips. Today I want to make three display that join together with magnets and therefore I model the container to be able to insert the magnets on the sides. This time I want to use a printed circuit board to be able to make all, con all the connection without using wires or LED strips but by soldering the components directly onto the circuit. I then designed the electrical diagram and PCB using the KiCad software. I put the LEDs and the capacitor and designed the tracks. To create the printed circuit board I used PCBWay.com. To order a PCB it's very simple, just enter the web page, if you are a new customer click here and fill in the data needed to create the PCB. Enter the PCB size and quantities, the number of layers and thickness, choose the other characteristics of the PCB such as the color of the solder mask, the silk screen printing, the thickness of the copper and so on. If you want, you can also create the stencil if you use SMD components. Choose the shipping service you prefer. And send all the necessary files by compressing them into a zip file. And here they are. PCBs and cases in ABS well protected and packaged inside the cardboard box. The stencil protected by two sheets of cardboard. Be careful not to bend the stencil. The solder paste I used is this. You can find the characteristics in the descriptions. To keep the PCB blocked while laying the solder paste, we use other circuits 
with the same thickness and place them next to each other, creating a sort of cage, fixing them with tape to the base. This way it will be easy to insert the PCB, remove it and then insert the next one. We place the stencil on the circuit and check that all the pads are aligned precisely. Then we secure the stencil in place with tape. Now we can lift the stencil and replace the PCB while maintaining alignment. We clean well with isopropyl alcohol and dry. Using a plastic card, spread the solder paste well and fill all the empty spaces in the stencil. And this is the result. The solder paste was distributed over the entire pitch. Let's prepare all the SMD component that we need to use. and place them on top of the PCB. The positioning does not need to be perfect because during the soldering the component will position itself in the center. Welding with hot air gun, setting the minimum fan speed. Distribute the hot air on all sides of the component and wait for the solder paste to reach the melting temperature. Once the welding is finished, we move on to assembling all the printed parts by inserting the segment inside the case.
pay attention to the polarization of the magnets, insert them into the appropriate spaces using glue. While waiting for the glue to adhere, I place a magnet on the outside of the container so as to keep the magnet under pressure. 